snow and much colder temps moving in. Yeah, here's Joe to explain. Yeah, here's what we're looking at. First of all, we get into a pattern where snow will be on the increase for tomorrow. It's going to be a quick hitting system, so scattered snows heavier to the north. And then chilly with uh, but dry conditions for the weekend. And then increasing snows again on Monday. And we're calling that an impact day for the Albuquerque area because it looks like snow showers will be likely because colder temperatures will be working in. Here's that next system that we're telling you about for the top of the newscast. Notice that as we work through the day tomorrow, snow showers working on into the Four Corners region. This would be in the morning as we advance to the afternoon. We'll probably get some rain snow mixes around the Albuquerque area, like mid to late afternoon. And then this kind of kicks on out of our area, but we have those winter weather advisories as we're showing you across northern and western parts of the state, mainly across the higher terrain and winter storm warnings for the areas around Raton Pass. So, uh, yeah, not much expected in the Albuquerque area. There could be a lot of accumulation in areas of Santa Fe on into Gallup, but uh, more across the higher terrain. But like we said, this is a quick hitting storm. So tomorrow there you see the snow increasing to the west. It's going to be cold everywhere else. We'll get breezy with those rain and snow mixes working into the area. More of a focus, as you notice, to the north of the region. But look at Saturday. I mean, this is kind of the setup for the weekend. We'll have colder than normal conditions, but dry conditions across the area. But as we flip it toward Monday, we're looking for a stronger system to work in when temperatures are much colder. So a better shot as some snow showers on the increase with some accumulations around as well. So we'll continue to update you on that. But as we look at the Four Corners region forecast, yeah, there's going to be periods of snow showers, a lot of accumulation around Farmington, a little bit more around Gallup. And then we get a break before more snow start to hit the area along with these very cold temperatures that'll follow. 48 over in Socorro tomorrow. It'll be windy with temperatures in the 40s. And then when the colder air starts to work in, they'll drop to about 39 degrees with a couple snow showers around Monday. Southeastern parts of the state, well, it'll be windy for tomorrow. Those winds gust up to 35, 40 miles an hour around Roswell and then proving Saturday, Sunday, and there could be some uh, snow showers working in the area Monday night on into Tuesday. So again, we'll have to update you on that. It all just depends how that stronger system on Monday tracks, but be alert for dicey travel. Interstate 25 from Raton down into Las Vegas, especially around Raton Pass. We're looking for a few snow showers around the areas of the East Mountains, but more throughout the north around Las Vegas. And then we get into a break before, uh, boy, I tell you what, more snow starts to work in Monday on into Tuesday, along with lower daytime highs. 28 with a winter weather advisory throughout Chama on into Red River, Taos. Also under that winter weather advisory, a light accumulation is possible in Santa Fe and a little bit more with those colder temperatures Monday and exiting again on Tuesday. And that cold start will give way to some showers in the afternoon of the rain and snow variety before it kicks out by the evening hours. So again, we'll have be 43 degrees tomorrow with a 40% chance of the rain and snow and then cold and breezy on your Saturday, improving on Sunday, Monday, increasing snow showers with a heavier accumulation across northern and western sections of the state, the higher terrain. So we're calling that an impact day because with the system moving across and temperatures in the 30s, yeah, easier to do so those snow showers in the area and continued cold with that northwest flow for Wednesday on into Thursday. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before those temperatures bounce back to the normal level. So uh, yeah, cold for a while and mm -hmm. increasing snow chances. A lot of threes on that. I know. Forecast. Well, it's winter. The, the so first number a, lot, a lot of teens. And teens yeah. <laughs> yeah, the teens are what, you know, oh, yeah. I'm sitting here freezing Lara. just thinking about it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Joe.